All right, let's uh, let's 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 keep going. Let's keep going right here. We got uh, Brandy beating Rick. I don't know why it showed me that match instead of mine. I'm really disappointed with that finish though, because like, you know, it was it's kind of disappointing, man. It was just a fucking toe trip into the fucking table. All right, let's take a look at this magazine. ECW takes lumps from Raw's champ. So who really is the most extreme? After responding to Brother Nero's open challenge last week, Sandman found himself on the receiving end of a beating of his own, resulting in a possible concussion after the two cross-brand superstars faced off in a tables match. Who's the extreme one now, huh? Lots of talk, and the only thing extreme about Sandman is how extremely lucky he was to leave the ring under his own power when I was done with him, said WWE Champion Brother Nero. Hot flames! Bro, look at that. Put him in his place. It's like you know that you know that you you know that like, but I'm not a rapper thing. Where like the guy says something and everybody's like, ah, that that's pretty much Brother Nero right there. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Minor leagues in a in a terse reply. Tommy Dreamer said only that Sandman's injury was not severe. It looked a lot worse than it was, and I promised that Brother Nero has not seen the last of ECW when asked. Uh, he declined to follow up on his statement. All right, that's fucking great. Phone message thing. Coach, let's get back to business. Finally, this ECW nonsense is behind us, and we can get down to business. Namely, finding you a number one contender for SummerSlam. I've got my eye on a few superstars. Alright, so basically, crossing. everybody's saying that ECW is done with means they're not done with, and I'm going to have a cross-brand match against their champion at SummerSlam. Because they're gonna like screw me out of my match on Raw this week or the next or the next. I don't fucking. It's, uh. All right. Let's simulate. Nothing. Let's simulate. Nope. Let's simulate. Nada. And then on to Raw. And we've got, uh, is this anything new here? Carlito accuses the champ of, that's why he was in the cutscene, okay. Uh, one Raw superstar has watched the budding ECW brother Nero feud with interest. Is Carlito a contender for the WWE Championship? Okay. Carlito feels that brother Nero is setting himself up for a fall. If what he's done with ECW is any indication, Carlito says, SummerSlam is not going to be a fun time for him. He's too busy playing with ECW to retain his championship. He's not focused on the real competition, not to mention how he's risking injury against uh, guys who have no real concern for their own well-being. Carlito ultimately feels that Brother Nero's involvement with ECW is based upon fear of his own brand's roster. I understand why he doesn't want to compete with Raw superstars, Carlito said. Sooner or later, he'd have to fight me, and he knows he'll lose. See, that's where you're wrong, Carlito, okay? That's where you're wrong. The reason I, Brother Nero, is is focusing on ECW is because I've gone through the whole Raw roster already and nobody gave me trouble, okay? That includes you, Carlito. So don't fucking come in here saying, if I faced you, I would lose. Because if, if my memory serves me right, the last time I faced you, I beat your ass and you were written off the program. Maybe not written off the program, but I did beat your ass. So don't come into my fucking house saying this bullshit, okay? Or else you're going to get got. That's the exact, yeah. Got him. Got him good. Okay, we have a few messages here. Uh, you got two from Coach and one from Carlito. From Coach first, I got to thinking about who would be a worthy challenger for your WWE Championship. With the heat that Carlito managed to generate with his recent interview, he said you were afraid of the Raw roster. You know, I think he's a perfect choice to be the number one contender. I want to see how he looks against you, so you're going to have a non-title match with him this week on Raw. Okay, stay sharp from Coach. Listen, I don't know what you've gotten yourself into, but I'm a little nervous here, frankly. If you want to get beat up, that's your problem, but I want to stand by and watch Raw or the legacy of the WWE Championship get ruined on account of your ego. I got an email from Dreamer, and all he wrote was, prepare to be taken to the extreme. Okay, that's... Okay, whatever. Carlito. Hey there, champ. I hope you're ready for the beating of a lifetime tonight. You better be, because what I do to you tonight is nothing compared to what I'm going to do to you at SummerSlam. See, that's where you're wrong, Carlito, because, like... All right, so basically, right... What what you're gonna do tonight on Raw is nothing what you're gonna compare to do at SummerSlam. Well, that's that you're actually right, because uh, you're not gonna make it to SummerSlam. Because I'm gonna beat you so bad that you're gonna be written off the program indefinitely. I'm gonna future endeavor you 
with how bad of a beating I'm going to lay upon you. So you're right in a sense that what's going to what you're going to do to me tonight is is nothing compared because you know you're going to do nothing on SummerSlam and you're going to do nothing tonight but like a little a little bit more than nothing. So like you're doing like point like zero like a hundred times one percent like offense but like at SummerSlam you're doing just zero because you're not going to make it because I'm going to beat you so bad that you won't be able to walk for like two years let's just let's just put it at that alright Brother Nero don't mess around when it comes to his championship boy alright have you seen the German suplas I give land you straight on your goddamn neck welcome to Raw everybody we're less than two months from SummerSlam. Hello again, everybody. I'm good old JR Jim Ross alongside the Hall of Famer, Jerry the King Lawler at ringside. And tonight, the champion faces his potential challenger. And that's going to be a great match. But I'm just glad we're over that ECW We're not over the nonsense. ECW nonsense, man. I'm going to skip this because they... King. I don't listen to what they say anyway. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so I wonder if it's going to be... Like, what kind of... Um, what kind of interference is going to be? Like, I don't know if it's like I'm going to go for the pin and it's going to trigger the cutscene or I'm going to win and then it's going to trigger the cutscene. I don't know, like, what kind of cutscene is going to be. Or maybe they'll do, like, an entrance thing and they'll be at ringside or something. I don't know, man. Yeah, and we need a huge main event. SummerSlam's a cross-brand pay-per-view and Raw has to prove that we're superior to SmackDown. Raw has to prove that they're superior to SmackDown by putting Carlito in the main event of SummerSlam. No disrespect to Carlito, but he's not main event quality. Let's be honest. Especially not the way he was booked at the time this game was released. So, let's be honest. If, if, <laughs> if, if SmackDown are putting up Batista and Undertaker at SummerSlam as their main event, and we're putting up Carlito in our main event, we kind of have the disadvantage, but then again, your boy Brother Nero's in it. So even if it was Brother Nero fucking f wrestling a broomstick, it'd be a better match than anything that SmackDown could put on. That's how good Brother Nero is. So, I mean, you know, it doesn't matter who you put in the ring with me, we're going to get better ratings because your boy Brother Nero's carrying this fucking ship, alright? I'm a pimp. Wearing Gucci mink, and without me, this whole fucking ship sinks. That's that's Brother Nero right there, personified. Okay, so it's gonna be an entrance cutscene. They're gonna attack me now. Ooh, shit. That ECW piece of trash is back, and he's assaulting the champ. This is downright unforgivable. They're whooping my ass. How am I busted open if he put a chair shot on the back of my head, man? He didn't hit me in the head once. Or did I say back of my head? Again, now he just hit me on the head. He hit me in the back with a chair, then he hit my arm with a chair, and then he hit my other arm with a chair, and apparently I was busted open, and then he hit me in the face, excuse me, with the chair. These these burps are weak, man. I'm just, I'm done the shit. I'm ashamed of my burps, you know what I'm saying? They're fucking weak. Those are like ones, one out of ten. That's not, that's, I'm... That's not me. That's not, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, not, I'm a six or seven out of ten burp usually. You know what I'm saying? I'm still doing the match, really. Makes no sense, but okay. I'll still whoop his ass. He reversed my shit. That's great. <laughs> right off the bat. What the fuck is he? Who did he just? Okay, Sandman's in the ring now. Sandman's attacking him. Why, Sandman? Okay, man. You fucking you guys fight. <laughs> Sandman literally came into the ring, attacked Carlito, it didn't cause a DQ, cause... Fuck logic. German Supla, baby! That's the first one for Carlito. That's just a taste of what you're gonna get in this match, boy. I'm gonna land you on your neck so many times you'll never walk again. That's a little bit, that's a little bit grim to be saying, cause I actually like Carlito, and, and it's... You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I don't want to end his career. But I mean, he's threatening my title. So, I mean, I kind of got to. You know what I'm saying? It's like... <laughs> look at that shit, bitch. Ooh, look at that senton. Ooh, look at this fucking running thing. Look at that senton that I barely got any of. What's this? Oh, I thought he reversed it. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Those punches to the head. 
Got him. Got him good. Let's go to the top rope. Let's go for a 450. 450. Damn right. We're gonna we're gonna cancel that pinfall. Huh. Fucking god damn it, man. I was about to set him up for the Swanton, and he just had to reverse the setup for it. There we go. Don't run out. Don't fucking ref, you piece of shit. Okay, I made it in time. I made it in time. There we go. That's it. That's that's one, two, three. He's probably going to kick out because he's only orange body health and yellow head health, but... Or not. Or he's that fucking shit that he doesn't kick out of it. Okay. <laughs> I took it easy on him. I took it easy on him because I realized I like Carlito, so I'm not going to end his career tonight. I'll end it at SummerSlam if he makes it to SummerSlam. Because I did go easy on him, so he, he has like a little bit of a chance of making it to SummerSlam. But if he does, I'll end his career then. But apparently, according to the cutscene, he's whooping my ass even though I whooped his ass. Okay. Who the fuck is that? I just hope his injuries are less severe than they appear to be. Okay, so a stretcher appeared out of nowhere. Cause it wasn't there when that when that other guy came down to the ring. Please don't tell me they're gonna vacate my title, dude. Please don't tell me they're gonna vacate my title, cause that that, that would be mad. That would make me really mad. <laughs> that would make me very, very mad. So I'm hoping they don't do that. <clears throat> Cause that'd be bad. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the magazine right here. He said he continues to dog the champ for the second time in recent weeks. WWE champion Brother Nero has narrowly avoided serious injury at the hands of ECW's extremists in what was scheduled to be one-on-one -on -one non title match between Raw's WWE champion Brother Nero and Randy Carl. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, this game. This game. <laughs> this game is hilarious. Randy Carlito. <laughs> so. <laughs> God damn it. Was Randy meant to be in this storyline? Or is that just. Oh, that's hilarious, man. <laughs> Oh, Randy Carlito, okay. Alright. Uh, ECW Sandman and Sabu involved themselves before the contest, jumping Brother Nero and injuring him before the bout, and now Brother Nero isn't the only one upset about the course of events. That was my chance to show that I'm the legitimate number one contender to the championship, Randy Carlito angrily stated. <laughs> I'm going to call him Randy Carlito from now on, as long as I remember to. Uh, with ECW's interference, this was ruined. What do you mean? I still whooped your ass after the interference. You had nothing to prove. Because, like, there was nothing, like, you couldn't prove shit. Because nobody can touch me, dude. Like, what the fuck? Apparently, Randy Carlito is ready to jump into the scrum with ECW as well. They've got to be taken care of. ECW has to be dealt with once and for all. So now I'm going to team with Randy Carlito. Is that what's happening? Carlito, let's clean house. I hear you're not seriously injured. So you've got no reason not to help me get rid of ECW. Isn't this what happened with Triple H? Didn't I face ECW with Triple H in the last year or somebody? Maybe it was Edge or something. I swear I've done this before. With some, like, I swear I have. In this game. I, it feels like they're just, like, rehashing the storylines, man. This game is, this game is something else, man. I'll tell you.